Over the years, uh, Republic Bank has been recognized or is considered one of the best uh, mortgage companies in Ghana. I'd like to know what are some factors which have uh, propelled uh, Republic Bank to this to attaining this height. Republic Bank was started as a mortgage company. You remember our own finance company, we turned into HFC Bank and now Republic Bank. So the core business of the company has been offering mortgages to Ghanaians, teaming population of Ghanaians to acquire their own houses instead of renting properties. And over the years, the bank has financed over 10,000 people to own their own properties. I think the bank is getting to about 30 years old. Yeah. And over all this period, mortgage has been our mortgage, mortgage has been our core business. So you realize that um, in our local parlance, they say that Penin de Penin, we were the primary mortgage company and we continue to take the lead and to set a pace in that business. So interested in um, applying for the mortgage, um, what uh, what are the things or what are the factors they need to consider before uh, applying? So the that earns income can access a mortgage facility from Republic Bank. Basically, is your income age. So it is assumed that at age 60 you'll be going on retirement. So the earlier you apply, the better, because the maximum term of the loan is 20 years. So if you apply at age 40. What it means is that you have 20 years to pay by the time you go on retirement. But if you apply earlier, then you can complete the payment of your earlier property and then have the opportunity to take a second mortgage. So it is no difficult and there is no hard and fast rule about how to assess mortgage than your income okay. and your age. It does sum up, uh the packages available, mortgage package, uh, packages available, and how diasporas can you know, benefit from it. <coughs> we have a number of mortgage packages. We have first to talk about these home pages where you buy a completed property and then you move in. Under that condition, the policy is 80 20 to loan value. So we give you 80% of the value of the property, then you pay 20%, that is, if you qualify for the 80%. By the situation where you qualify for less, we will still give you, but what that means is your percentage should be higher. For example, we assess your income and age and find out that you qualify for 70%, it means you have to bring up equity contribution of 30%. And then, the developer is paid and you move into the property and then you pay monthly over the term that is given. If you are 40 years and below, you have 20 years to pay. But if you are 40 years and above, then it means that the number of years that you are above 40 reduces your term of the mortgage. Um, we have whole equity, which is for those who have completed property and have title, can liquidate money from those properties and use it to buy another property or use it for other businesses. Um, we also have home completion, where individuals who have started the construction of their houses and build up to rental and barrel could access mortgage facility to complete a moving. Then we have home improvement. There are others who have good properties in good locations but in a dilapidated state. Such people can come to Republic Bank, take a mortgage, renovate the property, rent it out and use the rental income to pay. Then we have National Housing and Mortgage Scheme. This is a, a special product that Republic Bank is doing with Government of Ghana for all public and civil servants. And because of its specialty, the interest rate is highly competitive. So for if you're a public servant and you earn up to 3,100 Ghana CDs, 
you can qualify for the 100% of the amount that is granted the, to buy a mortgage, a, a mortgage property. And in addition to that, <coughs> we have um, tasked a number of developers to deliver houses to meet the price tag and the qualifying amount on that mortgage. So these are many others that if you happen to come to Republic Bank, you could excite yourself with. The ultimate thing is that at least have your own property before you go on retirement. It does not make economic sense at all for individuals to go on retirement and still be renting other people's property. If you do that, you can put extreme stress on you. Individuals outside Ghana, for non ghanaians who are who may be interested in your packages, uh, what are some requirements to uh, make them eligible to these um, uh, packages? Yes. You mentioned every Kenyan qualifier, even if we're a foreigner and you live in Ghana for more than five years, you can still take a mortgage. If you are a foreigner and you are married to a Ghanaian, you can assess a mortgage. Okay. Now, the income and the age are the main prince factors. If, we have, if, you, if you live abroad, we need your credit report, and then we need your bank statement, and then confirmation of your employment. These are the things we need to find out how much loan, in addition to your age and income, how much loan we can give you so that we can assess. You also need to open an account with the bank so that your remittance, that is your monthly repayments, can be remitted into that account and then use to clear your or pay your monthly repayments. So it is not too difficult and we have accounts with all the money foreign uh, banks where you can transfer money through into your account here. So there's no challenge at all for Ghanaian non residents to also access mortgage facility from the public bank. Okay. Well, housing. Now, in recent years, um, I think affordable housing has placed center stage in Ghana, looking at the policies of some <coughs> government and all that. So, what is your definition for affordable housing? Affordable housing is 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 a it's a relative word. Okay. Okay. So what is affordable to me may not be affordable to you. But so if we want to go by the income and by Kenyans, then we can say that affordable housing is what an average Kenyan can buy. Um, it is not government policy only. The macroeconomic indicators have not been favorable to Ghanaians in assessing affordable houses. The point is that a government of Ghana can come up with a policy, but if the, for example, what we witnessed this year, because of COVID, most uh, price material costs went up by 25%, automatically it affects the price of the houses. So even though government has a policy towards affordable housing, it, it's told to challenge the, um, the, the, the dynamics of the market, of the affordable market. So on that part, what we have done, let me just go into what we have done and try to define. What we have done is that I mentioned that we are in collaboration with the government of Ghana. Okay. And 2018, we started this scheme with government, where government gave Republic Bank a subsidized rate, and then Republic Bank matched it up. So with that funds, public servants are able to assess mortgage at 11.9 percent per annum, whilst commercial rate is around maximum of 22 percent. So with that, even though your income may not be as high. I mean, your verifiable income may not be as high as someone in the private sector yet because of the interest rate it is able to boost the amount you will qualify so that you can qualify a reasonable amount to be able to buy a decent two-bedroom house and in addition to that we commissioned developers across greater Accra region some on the central 
region road, uh, Kaswa and his environs, some in Tema and his environs, Komija and his environs, so that they will develop houses to meet this uh, market. And as many as qualify who are able to assess it. Sometimes <clears throat> it is important that um, individuals are also ready to accept and cut their quotes according to the size. You know, so sometimes you also find out that the number of Ghanaians who, even though they have a low income, may not want just a two bedroom, but a big house. And that will that tend to defeat the purpose of developing such houses. So I will still encourage as many Ghanaians who are public and civil servants to make their way to Republic Bank, any of our branches, and you'll be able to assess these any of these houses so that you pay over time and then you then do not frustrate yourself in you know paying so much rent to landlords and then uh, making things difficult for yourself. There's a list of certain uh, housing projects dubbed affordable housing. Uh, some range from uh, between the price of $158,000 to $300,000. Can the average Ghanaian afford it? No. Um, an average Ghanaian, I mentioned what we're doing with the government of Ghana. Uh, if you are a public servant and you earn 3,100, you qualify for 140,000 Ghana cities. Those that we commissioned to develop houses, we had houses that were sold, two bedroom houses that were sold for 80,000, 100,000, a certain price, 120,000. But because of price increases this year, most of them have moved, pushed the price to 140, 150. So what it means is, depending on the location, your preferred location, if you would agree to buy from the one that you qualify for, then you can get at 140, and maybe 150 if you are ready to pay the difference of 10,000. Otherwise, then you will have to resort to buying your land and developing it over time, which is also another adult task. Because averagely, it takes Ghanaians about 10 to 15 years to start and complete a property like that. So if you want to use all your lifetime to develop it, then that becomes an option to you. Factors um, impacting negatively on the delivery of affordable housing. It's purely price. Okay, you see, it's affordable housing is a market. And for every market, you have the demand side and you have the supply side. So the government policy that we have now as working with the Republic Bank is augmenting the demand side by giving loans to people at a competitive interest rate to be able to buy. But on the supply side, you must be able to supply at a certain price range. And as I earlier mentioned, when we started a project in 2018, this scheme 2018, we got houses as low as 70, 80,000. Now, we don't have any house that is below 100,000. Because price of materials have increased. Price of cement and all the items that go into uh, the development of the house have gone up. So over the years, things have changed and uh, price of materials have gone up. So this is the main issue. And then have to talk about the other issues on land acquisition and and the, the, the problems that we have with title registration and everything all together. So it's as a whole encompassing uh, challenge on the supply side. However, I think that with this approach of getting developers to develop some type of houses. These developers, because they're in the private sector, are able to embrace the challenge, handle them, and then provide the houses at the price that given. So it is good opportunity for individuals to take advantage of it. A lot of times, or in recent times, we've seen a lot of banks giving out loans 
to individuals who wish to own um, properties in Ghana. What is that unique selling point or unique offer you you have to give your clients and those in diaspora? In the diaspora? That's, that's, that's a tricky question. <laughs> Oh, you want me to serve myself then? <laughs> okay, the thing is, both local and foreign markets, Republic Bank is the best. In the local market, as I mentioned to you, we offer the lowest rate in terms of national housing and mortgage, collaborating with the government. And if you look at the records, you will realize that Republic Bank has done so many houses and provided a lot of mortgages for public and civil servants since the inception of this scheme. And on the foreign front, Republic Bank has a lower rate in the market now. Our dollar rate is 11.5% per annum. And that is the lowest in Ghana. So if you have the lowest rate in CD and the lowest rate in dollar, and you have a quick processing, um, uh, processing of applications in terms of delivery time, then it means that you'll be the best option. The second thing is that we deal with over 250 real estate developers. So we are not limited to what just giving the loan. But we, if we have a buyer who has not yet gotten a developer, we are able to look around uh, within the preferred location, give you sample of houses available so that you can choose from. The price tags, the finishes, and all that goes with that kind of development so that you can make an informed decision. So these and few others with our friendliness and really good relationship and the thing that makes us people like Republic so much. Uh, it's quite difficult for banks to finance or invest in big project infrastructures and all that. But then what has um, Republic Bank has to offer such you know projects and uh, infrastructures? Infrastructure development is is expensive and it's a core part of real estate development. Um, Republic Bank is used to financing these and if you remember uh, those of you who are of my age and those of you older than myself or those who have been in the property market for a reasonable time know that uh, through our own finance company we helped in opening up Tishinum Bar by developing um, rooms, water, electricity, collaborating with SNETs and developing communities there. We moved to Spintex World and we work with um, developers like Rich Manuel, Manet, Coastal Estate and many others. And we um, so if you look at it, if you look at the various areas in the greater Accra region, um, apart from those that I have mentioned, if we take the Dodowa Road, we have a number of real estate developers there. If you go to Tema, Nawenya, we have HFC Estates there, we have Draft Traco Estates. All these are companies Republic Bank has worked closely with to provide infrastructure and houses to be able to give them a decent accommodation. Republic Bank has been nominated um, by the Ghana Property Award for the best mortgage you know, finance group. So, um, do you think it is it? Well, the deserving factor is you know, you don't tell your own story, but <laughs> okay. you allow people to say it. Um, Republic Bank for example, in our granting of loans, have had a serious experience where in any part of our, the years, we realize that people that we granted dollar loans to, 
and at my CDNS had had to pay through the accounts. The public bank has therefore decided to give CD loans to CDNS so that the depreciation of the CD does not make them worse off. And I think this is one of the good things the public bank has done to those who have taken facility from the bank. Apart from the fact that we have we give lower rates, we also ensure that you can project your repayment. You can say that in five years' time, my balance will reduce to that this or that level, and that I can take a top up of the facility to buy another house or to use the money to do something else. Other than where there is sporadic changes in the exchange rate, and today your balance is shot up and then it keeps growing and growing and growing and it never ends. I think this is one of the things Republic Bank has done that has um, made Republic Bank a toast uh, to, the, to most of its customers. And I think that um, we deserve it if we are chosen as the best mortgage company. We do, because we are doing a good job. And uh, may the Lord help us. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. Have any final words for our viewers out there? What I would tell you is that it is difficult to raise money. See, 100,000 Ghana cities through your personal savings. It is difficult to buy land without going through litigation in Accra and Ghana. It is difficult to sit back and say that in five years time, I should own my own house. But you have the facility to buy a house, live in it, and while the property appreciates in value, you pay the loan with your income and you reduce your balance. So whilst your property value is increasing, your loan amount is coming down. What does it mean? it means that you're becoming richer by the day. Mm -hmm. So do not look at the fact that mortgage takes so long to pay. Do not look at the fact that I may have to have the psychology of knowing that I owe. But look at mortgage as a wealth creation avenue for yourself so that you can have your property in five, 10 years time you could finish paying him and the property price would have tripled or doubled. And in that case, all the equity built up in it is an effort you have made for yourself. I want to encourage each and everyone that if you stop working, the first on your mind must be acquiring your property. And do that through mortgage if you cannot finance it by yourself. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you for your advice and we also wish you the best. Thank you. Okay, thank you too.